name is Lindy and today's video is all about this like glowy, super quick, super easy, super affordable summer makeup. I wear this all the time. I've really gotten my timing down to like five minutes. If this is your first time seeing me, I'm an Ole Miss student. I'll be a senior next year actually. And I do usually videos about like my college life, vlog, day in my life, that sort of thing, dorm tour type thing. But I am home for the summer now. So I'm gonna be doing like some get ready with me for some exciting things that I'm doing this summer. I like to go thrifting a lot. I like to do vlogs. I like to do hauls of my thrifts and I do videos also about like how I do cool edits for my Instagram picture so if any of that is interesting to you definitely go ahead and subscribe I would just love to have you here and this is my safe place I've wanted to do YouTube forever and I do it now and it's like every single time I think about it it's literally crazy okay so let's just get right into it thank you guys I'm sorry I'll shut up okay let's go alrighty so I'm just gonna start off by like clipping my hair back so it's not in my face I've had this clip for 85 years so I'm not including this in the overall price of the products used so for starters I don't wear foundation every day and if I do I wear a BB cream but for the sake of this tutorial it's just kind of like a supernatural type of glow you know so I'm not gonna be wearing a foundation I'm really having some good skin lately I used to have a lot of bumps on my forehead and like red uh, acne situation right here which I kind of have scab right there I feel but anyway I've gotten a lot better over time and I've really simplified my uh, skincare routine so I'll do a video on that soon and like literally it's honestly I shouldn't even say routine I use one thing. Enough about that. For my skin base area, all I do is bronzer, blush, highlight. Okay, let's do the blush. So I recently picked up this blush from e.l.f. It's like a cream blush type situation and it's really orangey and I don't ever, I've never used like an orangey blush like this. Don't know what the color is, I'll insert it on the screen. Uh, I think it was $4 maybe. So I have this brush from Target which I'm going to use for a few products today but using it first of all for the blush. Oh, also I don't have a mirror so we're just going to use... <laughs> What are we gonna use? Okay, so this is like a, and I like to wear a lot of blush, so be forewarned that this is gonna be a blush heavy look. Give myself a little pout. And I really don't try too hard with this. <laughs> like, I put a lot on and I take it from the uh, apple of the cheek up and honestly into like towards the nose so that I kind of look sunburned. Cause then I feel like I look like natural and flushed and stuff. So like I'm literally, <laughs> This is why your girl doesn't wear foundation because I'm like, I'm gonna cover my face in color anyway. Sorry if you hear my dog barking. I just, ooh, there he goes again. He was up here a second ago. I was hoping he would stay so he could be featured in our video, but he left me. Okay, so now that my cheeks are thoroughly blushed, I'm gonna put it on my nose, whatever's left on my brush and my chin. Before I do the bronzer, let's do the highlight. Okay, so I wanna talk about two highlighters that I just got the other day. And like, you know when you go to Ulta, Okay, maybe other people don't do this, but I went to Ulta like without any background. I hadn't been looking up what I wanted. I just was like, I'm going to Ulta. <laughs> went up in there, bought two random things without knowing anything about them. And like, they both snap. And that like doesn't happen. You know, usually I'll go to Ulta, come home with like one thing that I like and the rest were like kind of like, oh, I shouldn't have done that. But these two highlighters smack. Okay, so this is the e.l.f. Jelly Highlighter. Uh, I don't know what the color is, but I'll put that on the screen too. But can you guys see how that's like gelatinous? <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> so anyway, I have that like jelly boy and then also this, which I recently got and I didn't even realize it until like I've used it four times that it looks like high beam, but it's from Essence and it's called Make Me Glow. I think this was $6 and I think this one was four or five, but I'm not sure. Somewhere in that price point for both of these. And this one just goes on like a paint dofa type of situation. And you know what? I guess I can't decide which one of these I want to use. Should I do one on one side, one on the other? No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna use this one on my face and this one on my eyes. Cause I usually like, will use products for multiple purposes. So let's do the essence one on my cheeks. I kind of like scrape off the excess cause there's like a lot comes out and then I get scared. Oh, and I don't have my mirror. Uh oh. Okay. Ooh. I'm like, I will just literally <laughs> low key paint it on. You see, can you see, hopefully. Put a little bit on the end of my nose, keep its bow, chin, above my, okay, that was a lot. <laughs> above my eyebrows, and that should be good. I love this stuff. And also I'm not afraid of being too glowy, so, <laughs> you know. I'm using the same little foundation brush and just kinda. But can you guys see how like, it literally thins out so pretty and it made my entire face glowy. Like a little bit of this stuff goes a long way and I use a lot, so. A lot goes a very far away. <laughs> Just kind of. Mm, the cupid's bow. Can you see it from here? Probably. Nose. Eyebrow. 
Um, also, historically, I've had pretty dry skin, so I love anything that adds glow to my face because it makes me feel like not crusty, you know, and I just have a fear of being crusty. The next thing that I overuse is bronzer. I'm using the NYX Matte Bronzer in Medium, and I've used this, like, I went through an entire other pan of this. This is my second one. Love this stuff. It's so cheap. Oh my gosh, that glow. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, plant-based sausage. I love the future. Little Freaky Caesars. Y'all hear that? That was my mom talking about Little Caesars making a vegan pizza. So uh, yeah, NYX matte bronzer. And I go in with this stuff. My friends saw me using this and they're like, you know what? That explains a lot about your tan. And I'm like, it does. There is no tan. It's just this. Oh, and this brush is like the letters. Oh wait, it was wet and wild. I thought it was elf. I've had this for a long time. Years, probably a couple years. And she's going strong, so I just, like where you would contour, but I just kind of like the entire face. Can you see that? <laughs> Down the neck and everything. I love having my face not match my neck. Okay. I'm trying to like see myself in the mirror, but the lights from my light here have like really, like I can't really see anything besides purple right now. Like purple lights are flashing in my eyes <laughs> because I'm blinding myself with my ring light. Oh yeah, my temples, I did. I'm doing now. Look, like, not really my temple temples, but like, right here. <laughs> and then I'm blending it down and up, kind of in a circle all around as you can see. And that just like brings the warmth to my face and adds like some dimension, you know? So I do a little bit on the sides of my nose, just like to give myself like that fit in the sun look, not like to try and contour or anything. I've given up on the whole idea of contouring and just kind of like started warming up my entire face with the bronzer. You couldn't see that, but I dropped it right on the floor, so. Okay, I'm back. So I'm just taking like, I'm like the whole side of my brush, you know? And then I just like sweep it down a few times. <laughs> I'm not a makeup artist. Um, I don't make makeup videos, you know? I'm not a YouTuber. So then if there's like any other places like the tops of my cheek or anything, if I wanna like add a little bit of warmth, I will. Like you guys can see, I'm not afraid of bronzer, so. If I wanna shape up the jaw a little bit, I'll just add some and hit it. So that's it for the face. Now I'm gonna go on to the eyes. So I have two eyeshadow brushes. It'll probably never focus on them. They're from Morphe. The like one that I use for like my inner corners and my lid is the M421. And then the one that I use for my crease is the M573. And it's like a fluffy boy. If you can see that, I don't know. I'm gonna start with my crease actually and we're gonna go back to the bronzer. I like to use uh, the bronzer for the crease. I feel like it's all in the same color palette. It gives you like a really natural look because it's all working together you know so I'm just and then I just like look at my crease kind of look at myself know where my crease is and then I kind of like lift my eyebrows do a crease and like right above the crease and I'm not afraid to like bring it out or anything that, that eyes got beauty so it's okay <laughs> done this is where my jelly highlighter is gonna come in I've used this on my face as well but I'm just gonna use it in my inner corners for this one because I wanted to show you guys both of them because I love them both and they're both like really good options for the price and they're like, I would say pigmented, but it's so ugly and people are like, it's so pigmented, but like, it's, it's a pungent color, which is not how you use the word pungent, but like, you know what I mean. I'm literally just taking the lid from that jelly highlighter because it's so strong, like a little bit of the stuff. Talk about going a long way. So I'm taking the, uh, what is this, M421, the flat shader type of brush, and I just like tap it. Okay, I like literally got too much. Like just a little, I just spat, so I hope you can't see that. A little bit on the brush. And then I'm gonna take this to my inner corners. Okay, so I used to use Still a Kitten to like really brighten up my inner corners, and that's been like my favorite thing to do ever. I've done that for years. I don't care if it looks bad, I like it. So anyway, this jelly highlighter is just like a really cheap alternative to using Stila's Kitten eyeshadow, and it's like honestly easier because I used to wet my brush before I used Stila. Like to be honest, I would like the brush. Now I don't have to because it's like a jelly consistency already. Okay, so I'm literally just tapping this on my inner corner. I don't want to block it, so you can see. And then I bring it under a little bit toward my bottom lash line. And then on top as well. Oh gosh, I got a lot. And now you see how harsh that is right there? I'm gonna try and like use my finger to just kind of tap it to blur the edges. Perfect, that was actually perfect execution on my part. Oh, I have enough of my brush from my other eye, so we're gonna do that. Like this stuff is such a better alternative to steal this kitten because it's just so much cheaper and so much. Like you get so much in this thing, I'll probably not even use it before it all dries up. Mm 
There's like a stark line right there. Oh, there we go, fix it. <laughs> that's my eyes, that's what I do for the eyes. Well, that's a lie. I have enough mascara or my eyebrows. Hang on, let me grab my eyebrow pencil. I left it on the ground. My eyebrow pencil is from Revolution. I think that I get like all of this at Ulta. Okay, this is a, I have this in the light brown color. So I start off with the spoolie and I just brush my eyebrows all up. I've been doing that like brushed up messy thing. I try to let them grow in pretty far in the inner corners. And I do what I can with the tail end because when it gets like down here, I get upset with it, you know? But I'm trying my best because I want them to be overgrown, but I want them to be not growing onto my eyelid. I don't know how to even facilitate that, but that's what I want. Okay, so I'm brushing them up, as I was saying. So this is like a little angled stick. <laughs> Pencil. <laughs> oh, it's not really, okay, whatever. It's like retractable. So I draw a line right under the front. Can you see that? <laughs> I used to think that my eyes were really far apart and I used to like honestly be upset about it, but I think it was because my eyebrows, I would get them waxed and they would wax them to like, instead of right here, where like the top of my nose is, they would wax them to where the inside of my eye is. So, that's a lot of space there. <laughs> After I draw that line up, I'm gonna draw, just keep that line going to the arch, filling in like the top of the arch area because it's a little bit dense, and then just filling in the tail where it's a little dense, or not dense, a little sparse. Filling in my sparse spots. Okay, so now the front part of my eyebrow where I drew that line, I'm gonna draw like some upward stroking lines with this pencil. It's not very thin, so it doesn't really give me the exact hair effect that I want, but it's whatever. Just going up. I don't go too close to the front up there because who has really dense hair over there? Not me. Before we blend that out, I'm just gonna do the same to the other side. And I used to never fill in my eyebrows. But now I really think it makes a big difference. So before I do anything, I'm gonna take that spoolie again. I don't even really consider this filling in. It's almost like a little bit of an enhancement, which I guess is what filling is. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Anyway, brushing up, brushing up, brushing up. I just brush through, kind of like blend out those lines and like kind of soften them all up. I'm taking this Essence Lash and Brow Gel Mascara and I just comb this up through my brows and it kind of just like locks them all in, you know? I've never used Boy Brow or um, there's something else, right? There's Glossier Boy Brow, and then is it Milk has another product? What's the other one? I don't know. I think I might like Boy Brow though, but let me know if you've used it. I'll give you a close up. I can't tell if it's focused, so. I think I have good vision until I turn on this freaking bright light in my face, and then I'm like, I can't see anything. <laughs> the last thing is my lips. So, I have a bunch of lipsticks from es uh, Essence because I like to buy them because they're like two or three dollars. So this one's in the color Cool Nude 05. I've had this for like a year. I honestly don't even know if they still make this color. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, Essence Lip Stuff really smells like, oh my gosh, it smells like little kid makeup. Like makeup I had when I was a child. And now if I ever wanna add like shine or anything, I like a gloss because I love, as we know, love the glowy look. Carmex, I just put some Carmex on top. Okay, so let's take my hair out of this nice clip that it's in, and let's give it a look. I literally just finished this video, filmed my outro, filmed my intro, didn't have mascara on. I was like, something doesn't look right. I'm looking at the viewfinder, I'm like, I'm not looking too good. I'm not gonna post this. Girl, mascara. So, the final step is not lipstick, it is in fact mascara. This is from Essence, it's the Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. This is cheap. So, and this stuff is like, kind of messy. I managed to get it on my lids every time, but I'm getting better every time, so, okay. I start at the base of my lashes and we'll just go up and then I'll wiggle it to make sure that they're all coated but then comb through like swiftly after I wiggle it to make sure that there's no clump be down bees. Oh. Okay. So that's like pretty much it for that, but I will go through and just kind of like touch the tips of my lashes to try and build some length up there and fan them into the inner corner and then out on the ends. I used to do no mascara on my bottom lashes and I started doing mascara on my bottom lashes, but I'm not gonna do it right now. So like I said, just give it some overall sweeps and then wiggling it from the base to the root. Sorry, I don't wanna block what I'm doing, I'm trying to break up any clumps. And now just hitting the tips, 
Yeah. Alrighty, so that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you do. Hit me up on Instagram. I appreciate you stopping by and I hope to see you again.